Hi people, we're over here at um, Natural News. Um, I thought I'd put this this up. Um, Manuka honey kills more bacteria than all available antibiotics. Um, basically, Manuka honey, before I go any further with the article, is what I used to cure, okay, cure um, my brother who's in a disability group home. He ended up getting staff from their hygiene practices. Anyway, it ended up going into his blood system, so every time he so much as got a scratch, it blew up like a friggin' golf ball um, or a tennis ball, and they pretty much had to take him into hospital so that he would get antibiotic uh, antibiotics into his system, like intravenously. And I got sick and tired of this shit because I thought, why should he have to suffer because of somebody else's neglect? Anyway, I went on the hunt and I found Manuka honey. Um, when I say Manuka honey, I mean Manuka honey that is from New Zealand. Okay, don't don't be fooled because there's a lot of Manuka honey around. Manuka honey from New Zealand on the actual jar that you get it in, it should have a certified sticker on it. Okay. And it also goes by, I think it's the UMF. It says UMF and then it will have a number on it, right? If you can, and if you do want to try this, I suggest that you get the number that is the highest. That's what I went for. I think it's 20 or 25. 20 or 25, I'm not sure. Um, go for the, the highest number that is on it, as in the UMF number and make sure it's got the certified sticker on it and order it direct from New Zealand. Like I said, I don't know about the others, I'm not knocking them, but to be on the safe side, um, if I'm going to recommend something, I will recommend it as to where I got it from, okay? Um, even though you can't get it here in WA because it's not allowed to come into WA, but hey, when you've got somebody that is sick, you do what you got to do, okay? Manuka honey is not just, oh, and when you take it, you take it with a plastic spoon, okay? Don't take it with a metal spoon, take it with a plastic spoon. You cannot just slosh this stuff onto your toast, okay? It's not how it works, and you don't pour it over your cereal. What you do is you have a spoonful first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, and then you can have a spoonful again at night to start off with, um, I really don't think that you can overdose on this apart from the, the sugar factor, like any honey. Um, but that's what I did with my bro. It was one spoon first thing in the morning, one spoon first thing to bed at night. And 12 months later, and I stopped it to see what would happen when he gets scratches and whatever. He got quite a U-butte cut on three separate occasions after that. And they pretty much healed up like any normal cut would. There was no blowing up like a balloon. There was no ending up in hospital. So I've got proof that this shit works. Um, but yeah, let's let's go into... Oh, and by the way, natural news. Um, if you come over here, they've got a whole heap of friggin' stories. Like I was just looking at this. Yellowstone reaches 878 earthquakes in just two weeks in two weeks like what the fuck but yeah anyway they've got a lot of good articles here if you want to check it out uh study manuka honey kills more bacteria than all available antibiotics oh and by the way before i go any further the three that i know of that it will knock knock over is your staph infection your um M, is it MRSA or whatever it is, uh, which I think is a, is a, a staff, but we all carry that on our on our skin. Where was it that I saw it? Uh, I saw it somewhere up here. MRSA, MRSA. Ah, oh, come on here. MRSA. Anyway, we're not talking about MRSA right now. What we're doing is we're talking about um, the honey. So it knocks off staff. It will knock off the Pseudomonas bug, which hits your lungs. 
Um, it also cures Helicobacter, which a lot of people suffer from. They have no idea why they feel nauseous and bloated and whatever, because their doctors never send them for a Helicobacter test, which is so simple. You just go, you blow into a balloon, um, and they tell you whether you've got it or not. If you have, it's just a span of seven days worth of three different antibiotics per day. Um, there's quite a lot of pills that you take in that seven days, but that supposedly kills it, okay? So if you just want to check um, whether you've got it or not, because it is contagious, it's called Helicobacter, H-E-L-I, Helicobacter. Um, get yourself checked, get yourself sorted. Because uh, like I said, people are suffering from so many different illnesses that their doctors don't bother to send them checks for. So I'm giving you one there, Helicobacter. And also another one too is um, a Candida, which is yeast infections. Now, you might turn around and go, eee, but even babies get that on their tongue from milk, okay? Um, so that's another test to go have tested. And if you want something that actually cures that or fixes that, then I don't, I'm not sure if the honey fixes it, but there is a, um, a product called 3LAC, 3 as in number 3, L-A-C. Uh, if you get that, it's like, I think, $30 for 60 sachets in a box. Um, that will actually kill that bug. And if you need to take it for like two months and uh, to make sure or three months, to make sure then do it but yeah there are so many so many illnesses that people have gotten or people have got that are simple to fix but they don't know that they've got them because their doctors don't send them for those tests okay so if you're feeling bloated if you're feeling nauseous continuously uh, and you've changed your diet and you've gotten you've stopped drinking the water out of your fucking tap which is bound to give anybody a chronic ulcer and more um and you're still feeling nauseous and sick go get yourself checked for helicobacter like i said so many people out there have got it they haven't got a friggin clue that they've got it and it's contagious so on to the article uh, not all honey is created equal while the benefits of raw unprocessed honey have been well documented over the centuries. Australian researchers have found one type of honey called Manuka honey to be better than all known antibiotics. Manuka honey is produced by a bee that forage on the nectar of Leptospermum scaparium of New Zealand's Manuka bush, as well as tea trees native to Australia and New Zealand only. Well, more so, okay, more so New Zealand. If you're gonna get this stuff, I recommend you get it from New Zealand, okay? This remarkable type of honey not only effectively kills bacteria, but none of the bugs killed by it have been able to build up immunity. In a world where many of the last resort antibiotics are failing against antibiotic resistant superbugs, Manuka honey may hold the key to fighting resistant issues, saving thousands of lives worldwide. Well, the doctors aren't gonna like that, are they? But anyway, Manuka honey fights superbugs. Dr. D. Carter from the University of Sydney School of Molecular and uh, Microbial Bioscience has noted that antibiotics not only have short shelf lives, but the bacteria they attack quickly become resistant as well, making them useless over time. The report published in the European Journal of Clinical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases claimed that Manuka honey killed almost every bacteria and pathogen it was tested on. Unlike all antibiotics available on today's market, none of the bugs tested were able to survive the honey treatment. According to Dr. Carter, there are particular compounds like methyl and whatever it is, um, but I'm loving it, in the Manuka honey that cause multi-system failure in the bacteria, killing them before they are able to adapt and build up immunity. What Manuka honey can do for you? Manuka's biological properties range from antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiviral, antibiotic and wound healing. Uh, I can tell you that is true because when my brother scraped his knee, this was after I had stopped um, him taking the Manuka honey, 
I actually told the group home to spread that on a bandage and put it onto his wound and yeah, sorted, no drama. However, what separates Manuka honey from the rest is that its antibacterial powers challenge even the toughest superbugs such as the life-threatening methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus MRSA. There you go, Staph. Um, I'm proof of that, okay? I've got my brother as proof of that. Manuka honey is marketed for cancer treatment and prevention, high cholesterol, chronic inflammation, diabetes, the treatment of gastrointestinal problems, and uh, eye, ear, and sinus infections. However, it might be most useful in treating skin wounds and leg ulcers. According to one study published by the scientific uh, journal PRJ, wounds are becoming a major global health problem due to antibiotic resistant issues. They are costly and difficult to treat, and bacterial biofilms are important contributors to the delay in healing. There is an urgent need for new effective agents in topical wound care and honey has shown some great potential in this regard. Um, for their study, researchers reviewed Manuka honey in particular as an alternative treatment for wounds because of its broad spectrum antibacterial activity and the inability of bacteria to develop resistance to it. Uh, their study indicated that honey might prevent bacterial biofilms and eliminate established biofilms. Furthermore, they reported that Manuka honey could successfully be used to kill all MSSA and MRSA biofilms in a chronic wound, supporting the use of this type of honey as an effective topical treatment for chronic wound infections. In recent years, word of the biological benefits of Manuka honey has spread to every corner of the world turning it into one of the most popular superfoods out there. Its fame and the over demand, however, have caused shortages resulting in fake, usually cheaper products to enter the market. So if you're going to spend your money on honey to reap its benefits, make sure you are buying the real thing. Well, there you go. They've just given you some advice as to what I gave you before I started this article. If you are going to, um, if you are going to purchase Manuka honey, I suggest you order it straight from New Zealand. And as I said, I'm going to give you a reminder again on the actual jar. Uh, it should have a certified sticker. There is like a little black certified thing on it. And when you buy it, buy the one that has the most UM, UMF, I think it is. UMF, you'll see there's five, there's, um, there's 10, there's 15, there's 18, there's 20, and I think the highest is 25 but don't quote me on that. Uh, get yourself the one right at the very top or any of the others right down to 15 actually, from 15 upwards. I mean, if you just want to take it as a, as a health thing, then go for the lower ones. I'm not saying that the lower ones are no good. They are. Um, go for the lower ones. But if you're really wanting to knock something on the head pretty quick because you've, you've been suffering from something for a long time, I suggest go with the higher numbers, anywhere from 15 to 25. And as I said, do not take it on a metal spoon. You take it on a plastic spoon. Uh, do not spread it on your toast and that kind of stuff because that's not how you take it. Um, well, that's what I was told initially anyway. So get yourself healthy, people. Go out there, get a test for Helicobacter. That's the worst culprit. It creates a shitload of drama in your body if it's not treated. Um, if helicobacter is not treated, uh, it turns ulcerous. If that ulcer is not treated, it turns cancerous. How do I know? Because my mum died of this. As for Pseudomonas bug, my father died because he went into hospital for a routine checkup. And while he was in there, he ended up getting the Pseudomonas bug. Unfortunately for both of them, I did not know about Manuka honey then. But I did manage to treat my brother, so I guess that's something. So, yeah, um, if anybody tells you you can take any any Manuka honey that's on the shelf, that might good be good. I don't know. I can't talk for those. What I am telling you is about the New Zealand one, uh, and it does heal people. 